Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and let's see how we can apply the voltage deviant rule and the current reveal rule uh, simply. So uh, voltage deviant rule says that when the two resistors are connected in series via DC source 5 volt then the voltages will be different across each resistor or in other words these voltage sources will be divided across R1 and R2 and according to the voltage deviant rule we can find the voltages across the other resistor VR2 by using the formula VR2 is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into Vs okay so substitute these values 2 kilo ohms you will see it comes out to be 2 kilo ohms divided by 5 kilo ohms multiplied by 5 will give kilos will be cancelled with each other while 5 will be cancelled out with it and you will get VR2 is equal to 2 volts and from the source 2 volts will be developed across this resistor R2 while 3 volts will be developed across the resistor R3 so 2 plus 3 will be equal to 5 if VR2 is equal to 2 volt then VR1 will be equal to 3 volt so in this way voltage deviant is applied rule is applied when the two resistors are connected in series okay now let's have a look now let's have a look how we apply the current deviant rule and we will again now consider the case where the resistors are connected in parallel in parallel the current is actually divided while in case of the series the current remains same so if this is the total current it it will see two paths this is this will be i1 and it will be i2 and the total current it will be equal to the summation of i1 and I2 okay if you are having the voltage source connected over here then first we will find the total current IT okay in order to find the total current IT we need to find the total resistance or R equivalent okay here you can see R1 and R2 are connected in parallel and since they both are equal in magnitude R1 R2 both are equal to 2 kilo ohm so whenever two resistors are connected in parallel and their magnitude is same their equivalent will be equal to half of their magnitude so you will see it will be equal to 1 kilo ohms or you can also apply the formula of 2 kilo ohms into 2 kilo ohms then divided by 2 kilo ohms plus 2 kilo ohms so ultimately you can see 4 kilo ohms divided by 4 will give you 1 okay now once you will have the value of the r equivalent resistance you can find the value of i total by using the form ohm's law so i is equal to v over r equivalent which is equals to 20 volts divided by 1 kilo ohms this is 1 okay so 20 volts divided by 1 kilo ohms will give you 20 milli Ampere. this is the total current that is flowing in this circuitry at this junction or the point a once the current will reach at this point it will see two paths either across r1 or r2 let's say i am interested in determining the value of i2 so i2 can be found by using the formula of the current division rule according to which across the branch on which we have to determine the value of the current we will consider the resistance of the opposite side so we will value, uh, mention the value of the resistance r1 then r1 plus r2 into i total okay we don't consider the value of the resistance on which we have to find the value of the current we take the value of the opposite resistor where the current is actually not being mired so r1 is actually equal to 2 kilo ohms this is equals to 2 kilo ohms plus 2 kilo ohms into i total which is equals to 20 milli amperes in this case when you will simplify it you will get the i1 is equals to 10 milli amperes 
sorry i2 is equals to 10 milli amperes and also since both resistors are same and the current is being divided in between these two resistors that's why i1 is also equal to 10 milli amperes if you have some question you can drop in the comment section thank you for watching